And welcome back. I'm so excited to see you today. Well, on Saturday, we had a Cubby Connection, and I had so much fun with those of you who showed up. And for those of you who didn't show up, hopefully I will be able to see you again uh, someday soon. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that next week we will not be having a video because it is Christmas next week. So next week we're going to be doing some other things at church, uh, like the Christmas... Um, on Sunday morning, we're going to have a Christmas celebration and then Christmas Eve service the day before Christmas. So next week's going to be pretty busy. So we're not going to be having a Cubbies video. Um, and we will not be actually having another Cubbies video until after the new year. So this will be my last time seeing you for a little while, but then I'll see you again after that, hopefully um, in person sometime soon after that. Sound good? Well, before we get into our story and singing our songs today, there is someone that we need to call out. Are you guys ready to call out Hubby the Bear? All right, we need to sit up really straight and tall, and we need to like get our big voices up, and we're going to say it really, really loud. Ready? One, two, three. Cubby the Bear! Hi, Cubby. Uh, I, I, I just... Hello, Cubby, is something wrong? I, I, I was just checking to make sure everything was okay. But, but boys, uh, girls, have you he heard a loud, scary noise? Well, no, we haven't heard any scary noise, have we, kids? No, we, sorry, Cubby, we haven't heard any loud, scary noises. Oh, okay, I, I feel better now. Yesterday, Timothy and I heard a scary noise, and I don't like scary noises. Well, can you tell us what happened? Timothy wanted to go camping with his family, but it was raining outside. So, Timothy's mom said we could make a tent and camp in his room. Timothy asked me to come along, too. I've never been camping before, but it sounded like fun. Camping is a lot of fun, isn't it, kid? I packed two shiny red apples for a snack and hurried to Timothy's room. And Timothy even had a flashlight for us. Oh, cool. Did you make a tent? Yes, we made a tent with a sheet and two chairs. As soon as it was, it was dark, we climbed into the tent. I ate my apples while Timothy made fun shadows on the wall with his flashlight. We were having so much fun. But then... We heard a strange noise. It sounded like something was scratching on the door. Oh no, Cubby, do you know what it was? No, but I was really, really scared. I thought it was a tractor at the door. Tractors have big wheels that scare me. Hmm. Well, Cubby, I don't think that a tractor would scratch at the door, but I'm sure Timothy's dad wouldn't drive a tractor in the house anyway. Yeah, you're right. But it was still scary. Then Timothy's dad, or Timothy, decided to go to the door and see what it was. Whoa, Timothy's really brave, isn't he? Well, what was it? Did he figure it out? Well, I'm not supposed to tell you this week. The cubbies need to read the story in their handbook at home. But... I will say that it wasn't very scary at all. Oh, whew, that is good. But I still don't like scary noises. Are you sure you haven't heard any scary noises here tonight? No, no, we haven't heard any scary noises, have we, Cubbies? Well, that's good. Very nice to know. I'll go and tell Timothy that everything is okay. Okay, Cubby. Well, we'll see you next time. Bye, kids.
Hmm. Wow. Cubby was kind of shaken up, wasn't he? He doesn't like scary noises. Do you guys like scary noises? Do you guys like being afraid? I know I don't like being afraid. Well, before we get into our lesson and into prayer time, it is time to sing some songs together. How does that sound? So this first song is one that you guys have already sung with me. All right. And it is called The Shepherd Knows His Little Lambs. And it's to the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Okay. So it goes, the shepherd called his little lamb. I am not doing it to the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Let's think of the tune to Mary Had a Little Lamb. Mary had a little lamb. So it goes. The shepherd calls his little lambs, little lambs, little lambs. The shepherd calls his little lambs. They follow and obey. Can you guys sing that with me? Yeah? Let's do it together. The shepherd calls his little lambs, little lambs, little lambs. The shepherd calls his little lambs, they listen and obey. Let's sing it one more time together. How does that sound? The shepherd calls his little lambs, little lambs, little lambs. The shepherd calls his little lambs, they listen and obey. Good job, Cubbies. And this next one is a song that we've never sung together before. And it has to do with our Bible story today. It is called, If You're Scared and You Know It. And it's the tune of, If You're Happy and You Know It. So the tune of, If You're Happy and You Know It is, If You're Happy and You Know It, clap your hands. Right? So this new song is, If You're Scared and You Know It. So if you're scared and you know it, hide your eyes. Can you guys hide your eyes with me? If you're scared and you know it, hide your eyes. If you're scared and you know it, that's not the way that you show it. If you're scared and you know it, say your verse. And then we can say our Bible verse together. So our Bible verse today is Psalms 23, 4. And it says, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Yeah? Let's do the song one more time and then we can do our Bible verse again. So if you're scared and you know it, hide your eyes. If you're scared and you know it, hide your eyes. If you're scared and you know it, that's not the way you show it. If you're scared and you know it, say your verse. And our verse is Psalm 23, 4. I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your stuff, they comfort me. Fantastic job, Cubbies. And we are going to learn more about our verse a little later on. But before we get into anything else, I would like to pray with you. All right. So, Cubbies, if we trust in Jesus as our Savior, then He is our Good Shepherd. We learned about Him being a Good Shepherd two weeks ago. And then, well, last week, we learned all about Jesus being the Good Shepherd. And that means that He is always with us no matter what. And sometimes things can happen to us that make us afraid. They kind of scare us a little bit. But because Jesus is the good shepherd, he will always take care of us. All right. And we can always pray and ask Jesus, the good shepherd, to help us not be afraid. All right. So let's go ahead and pray together and then we'll get into today's Bible story. So remember, when we pray, we close our eyes, we bow our heads, we fold our hands, and we put them on our laps so we're not looking at anything else or paying attention to anyone else, okay? Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for these cubbies that are joining me today, and they're here to learn all about you and how you are the Good Shepherd. We thank you so, so much because we know that you will always take care of us and that you can always help us not to be afraid. It is in your name, awesome name that we pray. Amen. And all my cubbies said, amen. Good job, cubbies. Well, Cubby the bear was a little scared today, wasn't he? Yeah, he heard something that kind of scared him. Have my, have you guys ever been scared before? I know that I've been scared before. 
while Cubby the bear and Timothy were having fun when they were in the tent, but then when they heard the sound, it scared them and they didn't have as much fun anymore. Well, I've been afraid of things and sometimes being afraid of things, well, it can make me not have any more fun and it could kind of make me nervous for a little while after that. But the Bible tells us that we do not have to be afraid because Jesus is our good shepherd. Jesus is the good shepherd. He will always take care of us, right? He has us, he has our back. He will always take care of us and make sure that we are safe. All right, so Jesus is the good shepherd and because of him, we don't have to be afraid. When we trust in Jesus as our savior, we become just like his little sheep. And like the shepherd loves each of his sheep, Jesus loves each and every single one of us. And he takes care of us just like the shepherd takes care of his sheep. So from the Bible, we learn about something that a shepherd, sometimes a shepherd may have to lead his sheep through a dark valley or a dark uh, place. And I'm sure that the sheep might have heard some scary noises in the dark valley. Right? The shepherd has to lead the sheep all over the place, and sometimes he has to lead them into the dark valley. And just because it was kind of scary, it didn't mean that they had to be afraid because their shepherd was with them. And so they knew that they were going to be taken care of. Their shepherd would always keep a staff in his hand. Can you see that staff? I don't know if you've seen these around Christmas time. But this is a candy cane, and a candy cane is kind of shaped like the shepherd's staff. It has this little curve on the end, just like in this picture. So this, the shepherd can put the curve around the sheep and pull the sheep back um, into the safety, right, to keep them safe. So this would help the shepherd be able to make sure that the sheep didn't fall or get hurt, all right? and he could pull them back to safety. And the shepherd would always watch over his sheep to keep them safe from danger. Do you guys see anything in this picture that might be a little dangerous? How about up there? You see up there? What is that? Can you tell? It's not a sheep, I'll tell you that. Well, Shepherds would always carry a rod, which would look like a thick stick. And the shepherd would use it so that if a wild animal like a wolf came to attack the sheep, the shepherd would be able to protect them. And he would use the rod to fight off the wolf. Other times, he might even throw his rod at the wolf. He would do anything. The shepherd would do anything to protect his sheep. See, the wolf is kind of scary and he wants to eat the sheep, but the sheep are hiding behind the shepherd because they know that the shepherd will protect them and keep them safe. He would do anything. He would get hurt. He would even die in order to make sure that his, safe, his sheep were safe because that's how much he loved his sheep. That is so awesome, isn't it? Well, at the end of the day, the shepherd would then count his sheep. The shepherd would use the rod to count the sheep and he would help them back into the pen and he would do this so that he would make sure that there was not a single sheep missing because remember last week we learned that the good shepherd will find all of the sheep. He will leave the 99 sheep to look for the one sheep, right? Can you guys help me count the sheep in the picture? We have one, two, three, and there's part of a sheep, four, all right? Well, our verse that we talked about this week, Psalm 23, four, talks about the good shepherd and he has a rod and a staff. And remember, we talked about the rod and that is what the shepherd would use to count the sheep and also to protect the sheep against the wolf. And then the staff, which kind of looks like a candy cane, the shepherd would use the staff to protect the sheep and make sure that they stayed safe, right? 
Well, our verse says, I will fear no evil for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. So that just means I will fear no evil. So it means, it reminds us not to be afraid. It means us not to fear anything, right? We don't need to be afraid because Jesus is always with us, right? I will fear no evil for you are with me. You are always with me. And sometimes scary things may happen, right? Um, a dog may bite you, a bee may sting you, you might get lost from your mom or dad. But when those things happen, do we need to be afraid? No, we don't, do we? We need to remember that Jesus loves you and that he will always protect you. So the Bible verse said, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. So because the shepherd had the rod and because he had the staff, the sheep knew that they were protected. And just like the same way, you can know that you are protected too. So what are some ways that we can know and what are some things that we can do whenever we're afraid? Can we pray? Yeah? Yeah, we can, can't we? How about saying our Bible verse, Psalm 23, 4? Yeah, we can say our Bible verse when we're afraid too. And we can say it out loud or we can even say, Jesus is with me. Can you guys say that with me? Jesus is with me. Jesus is with me. You can say that really loud and that'll comfort you. That'll let you know that you are safe. Well, right now we're going to pray and we're going to thank Jesus, our good shepherd, so much for loving us and for being with us and for helping us to never have to be afraid. All right, so let's go ahead and pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for each of these cubbies. We want to thank you so much that you are a good shepherd, that you would leave the 99 to come find us, that you would protect us against evil things such as a wolf, right? You are always there to protect us and you are always there to comfort us. And we thank you so, so much for that. It is in your awesome name that we pray. Amen. And all my cubbies said, amen. All right, cubbies, you know the drill. We have our busy buzzing honeybees and we say busy buzzing honeybee. Will you say your verse with me? All right, and our verse today, once again, is Psalm 23, 4. Can you guys say that with me? Psalm 23, 4. Good job. And Psalm 23, 4 says, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23, 4. I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I loved getting to talk to you once again about Jesus being our good shepherd. I think we have at least one more week learning about how Jesus is our good shepherd. So keep these things in your brain. And when we come back for, from Christmas break, we will talk one more time at least about Jesus being our good shepherd and all that he does as our good shepherd to take care of us and protect us. So a reminder, we won't be having a video next week, okay guys? And we'll be posting on Facebook for your parents to know when our next video will be coming out or what the next plan is for you cousins. So thank you so much for joining with me today and I will see you a little later. Bye!